hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for today's tutorial we're going to look at arc arc is a very powerful um utility in linux it's also a very powerful programming or scripting language as well what i like about arc um, you can use arc for data analysis or data analytics and currently i'm on my system and i'm inside of a folder called linux so that's where i'm going to write my arc script if i do an ls in here you can see the folders and files that I have inside of this Linux folder. Now I have a file called student test data .csv, and that's the file I'm going to be getting the information from and do some data manipulation using Arc. I'm going to create a script and I'm going to call the script student. So I'm going to say vi student dot arc. And that's the extension you use for Arc scripting language. When we were using Bash, the extension was .sh. Same like how you do in Bash, you write your shebang. So I'm going to say hash exclamation mark slash usr slash bin slash env space bash. So we're still going to use the Bash environment to write our Arc script. The first thing that I want to write is the Arc keyword to let the the bash system know that i'm writing an arc script so i'm going to say arc and then i'm going to use the begin keyword the begin just means execute this line first before you go into the arc commands so begin inside of the curly braces i want to use the print keyword and i want to print a title for my data so i'm going to say students i'm going to give some space I'm going to say data. I'm going to end off the begin statement with the curly braces. I'm going to print dollar sign one, dollar sign two, and I also want dollar sign three. Now these are the columns that is in my Excel file. So this will be dollar sign one, dollar sign two, and dollar sign three. I'm going to end off the arc statement with the single quote, and then I want to get it from the file student test data dot csv and this is the name of the file that i'm trying to get the data from student test data so i'm going to go ahead and save escape colon wq to save and quit and then i'm going to do a chmod 755 student dot arc and then now i'm going to run my file student dot arc and now i get back some data we have the header which is the begin um, statement that we put in in the arc statement now if you look at the data it's not quite readable so we want to use arc to pretty up the results that we get in back from the test files so let's go back into vi so we're going to clear the screen and make the output a little bit prettier so the first thing i'm going to do is to use the dash capital f for fill delimiter. So we have some commas in our data or inside of the file that we need to let Arc know to look for commas separated fields. So we're going to say dash F and we want to look for the comma. So let's go back, save this file and run the script again. So we get back the ID, first name and last name. And if we open up our CSV file, we have ID, first name, last name. Now, if you go back to the results, we still need to work a little bit more on getting the output printed properly. Let's go back into VI. We're going to put a tab and you still need the colon after the tab. So let's save this, go back, let's run the file again. And we have a little going on. Now that's how you use ARC to get some data back from a CSV file or any type of file. What I really wanted to show in this tutorial is how you can write statements like C or C++ in Arc. So Arc follows a very C-like syntax. So we want to check for some values or check some data inside of our column. And based on the data that we got, we want to do some type of actions. And we're going to do that inside of the same student.arc file. So we're going to go back into VI. We're going to apply some type of condition in Arc. If we go back to our script, 
we do have a GPA column and based on the results, we want to write some type of, um, some type of actions. So for example, for the GPA section, we want to check if the GPA is less than three. And if it's less than three, we want to print a column that says something like fail. So let's go back into the terminal and we're going to give that condition inside of arc. I'm going to remove this print statement. What you want to do is to give an open curly bracket. We also want a closing curly bracket. Now, instead of the open and closing curly bracket, that's where you're going to give your condition. The condition we're looking for is to see which student have a GPA greater than three or which students have GPA less than three. And based on the condition, we want to say pass or fail. So we're going to use an if statement for that. And we're checking for dollar sign nine, which is the GPA column is less than three. And if it's less than three, we want to say dollar sign 16, which is our last column is going to equals to fail. Now, if I go to my print statement, I want to print dollar sign one. I'm going to remove the tab for this one. I want to print dollar sign one, dollar sign two. So column one, column two. I also want to print the GPA. So I'm going to remove column three and put column nine. I want a tab and I also want to print the last column, which is dollar sign 16. So I'm going to go ahead and save my file. I'm going to run the script again. So student.org and now I get back ID, first name, the GPA, and I get back fail. We can enhance this a little bit more. I'm going to go back into VI and I'm going to have a else statement, else dollar sign 16 equals pass. Now I'm going to hit escape colon WQ to save and quit. And I'm going to run the script again and then I get back pass. But if you take a look here, the pass is also on this, the same level with the column names. So that means that it's given pass for anything that is not, that is less than three. So we're going to enhance this. So instead of saying else 16 is equals to pass, we're going to give it a next if condition. So else if inside of the brackets dollar sign nine, is greater than so we're going to give the limit of between three and five so we're going to say if dollar sign nine which is the gpa column greater than three and it's less than five then dollar sign 16 is going to which is the last column going to equals to pass save and quit let's clear the screen let's run the file again so when i hit enter now it's a little bit better. Arc is a very, very powerful tool. I am going to get a little bit more or a little bit deeper into Arc and Gog. If you did learn something from this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share the video, and I will see you in the next tutorial.